Yo guys, Insane Gamer 52 here, and today Call of Duty dropped the roadmap for Season 4, and there is a ton of great news for DMZ. Alright, so right off the bat, we are getting a new map called Vondel that is based off the Amsterdam section of the campaign, with waterways going throughout the city. To navigate through those waterways, there is also going to be a new tactical amphibious vehicle that isn't the fastest, but can drive on both land and water. There will also be a taxi cab that goes around the canals that players can interact with to speed it up, but this won't be unlocked until we reach a certain milestone in the Assault on Vondel community event. And of course, with a new map comes a new weapon case, a vehicle boss, and new missions. I'm looking forward to making guides for all the new key locations and missions, so keep an eye out for those right after the map launches. We will be getting a full tactical overview for Vondel tomorrow, so we'll know more information about it then. The next big update is a new section to the menu called the Forward Operating Base. This is essentially a new hub where you can earn upgrades to your stash sizes, more insured slots, contraband upgrades, a bounty board for exfil, bartering recipe, and buy station discounts, and access to urgent missions. Since your insured weapon slots are getting reset, this Forward Operating Base menu is how you're going to be able to unlock your additional slots with a new system that I'll talk about in a bit. First, let's talk about those urgent missions. So urgent missions are a new type of mission available at the forward operating base that should be pretty quick to complete and are good for earning faction reputation. These are going to be good for players who may not have as much time to play the game and just want to hop on real quick to complete some objectives. And speaking of faction reputation, this is a new currency that you will get for completing faction missions and urgent missions. You can spend it to unlock more insured slots, unlock an out of game wallet and increase your stash and contraband sizes. That out-of-game wallet will let you keep money that you expo with and essentially keep it in a bank. You can then choose how much money you want to go into matches with to get a bit of a head start towards gearing up or even for missions that will require hundreds of thousands of dollars to complete. There is also going to be a new faction named Phalanx, so that means that there will be even more missions for you to choose from. Although we don't know if they're going to release all five tiers at launch or just three with two mid-season like they did with Redacted. There is also going to be a new contract in DMZ, but all we know right now is that it's called Signal Intelligence. Okay, now let's get into the map changes. Maps that have fog, like Ashika Island and Vondel, are going to have a new feature called Dynamic Fog. This means that as the match progresses, the fog will change density to make it either easier or harder to see through. They didn't specify if this applies to the whole map at the same time, or if this is a more localized change and one area could be extremely dense while others could be pretty easy to see through. On Almazra, the sandstorm is going to be gone, but it will have left an impact on Almazra City. This means that there will be sand dunes going up the side of buildings, and they specifically mentioned massive sand dunes going up the TV station, embassy, and high-rise building. This may make it easier to approach snipers camping up there, but honestly, I prefer the sandstorm to make it much harder for them to even see their targets. And finally, there are going to be three new weapons at launch. These are the Tempest Razorback Assault Rifle, the ISO-45 Submachine Gun, and the Tomfa Melee Weapon. The Tempest Razorback is described as a jack-of-all-trades assault rifle with a fast rate of fire and smooth recoil. The ISO-45 is supposed to be the ISO from Modern Warfare 2019 and will have a decent rate of fire with higher caliber rounds. Both of these weapons will be available in the Battle Pass. And the Tonfa is going to be a dual-wield melee weapon that looks like a baton and is available as the final reward for the Assault on Vandel event coming with the new season. There will also be a new shotgun coming in Season 4 Reloaded. We will be getting a full DMZ community update on Friday, so we'll know much more about all these new systems then. Honestly, I'm super excited for all these new updates coming to DMZ, and I think the mode is going to be even better than ever. If you found this video helpful, let me know by dropping a thumbs up, and feel free to subscribe for more DMZ content in the future.